Good day, everybody. It's Father Spanky. It is November 14th, 2022, and I came home. There's Chubby in the background. Chubby's walking around, I'm going to his food bowl to get some food. I came home and went to go look under my sink, and there's water dripping out of the garbage disposal. Had a big puddle. So that tells me I got a bad garbage disposal. The seals uh, rotted away or it got rusty and started leaking out of the bottom. So I went over to Home Depot. It's an insincorator number five. So I don't know when they stopped making the number five. Like it's probably got a date stamped on it maybe. But now it's called insincorator Badger 500. So this is what I'm replacing it with. I think it's a similar similar uh, garbage disposal. It's a half horsepower. And that's it. And just a disclaimer, I am not a plumber. I am not an electrician. I'm just a homeowner, a handy homeowner that knows how to do things. And sometimes I take shortcuts. So don't always do it the way I do it. But I'm just posting this video to give people tips on how to do things if you're handy. So let's go. My first thing I want to do is get back here. Back here. And I want to unplug the power to it. Plug the power, gets grounded up, goes through there, down there, up through the P trap, and then into the sewer line. Okay, so I've got it unplugged. I'm gonna pull the cord out of the way, and then I need to unscrew this fitting right here. And this garbage disposal is also hooked up to uh, a dishwasher. So up above this is the, the dishwasher drainage line. So you gotta take that one off and unscrew this. I'm not sure if I can take it out with this piece on there, we'll find out. Okay, so here's uh, some of the tools I'm gonna use. I'm not sure if this is gonna be all the tools I'll use, but for right now I'm using my Milwaukee drill, cordless drill, and I've got a five, five sixteenths uh, nut driver bit. You may wanna use, you might have to use a hand nut driver if you can't fit the drill in there. I think the drill will fit in there. So I'm gonna use this to loosen up the uh, hose clamp for the hose that goes to the dishwasher. Okay, so I'm gonna put the, the bit in the drill, tighten it up, and I need to get it on, on this clamp right here and loosen that up. off okay that is off I don't know I'm, I'm probably got to unscrew this there's two bolts on each side of this then that'll actually take the little 90 piece off and then we can unscrew the, uh, the actual disposal off from the flange up here Okay, so for for these bolts, I have this nut driver bit 
which is, I don't know if you can see it, but it's a three eighths. So these are three eighths, fits on there, or you can just use, I believe you can use just a standard flathead uh, screwdriver to get on there. Uh, so I got that in my, my drill here. Make sure it's in reverse. That one out, and then there's one on the back side here. Okay. Okay. Both the screws are out. That will allow me to release it. So this piece, there'll be a new one in the in the new one that you can put in. And now we can take off the disposal. There is the, I couldn't find the tool. There's a little tool to actually take off. You could probably use a screwdriver, but I want to use the actual the actual tool that they give you with the, the garbage disposal to loosen it up off of the flange. And I believe there should be one in the new one here. Let's open this up. Hey, it's got all the, all the instructions, all the paperwork in here. And it's got a new, a whole new flange that you can put on to the sink. I don't usually replace this. Most plumbers, if you're going to pay a plumber, they will replace it. I'm not replacing this. So I'm going to leave this on there uh, because there's already one on there. And I'm just going to attach the new one to the old one that's in there. But I know a plumber will replace this, but you're going to be paying them a couple hundred bucks. So, And I, I've always, I've replaced many garbage disposals. And I've never replaced these and I've never had any issues with leaking or it not sealing properly. So that's my shortcut. It might be right, maybe wrong, but it's worked for me so far. Okay, let's pull out the new disposal. Here's the new disposal. So I gotta disconnect the wiring and on the old one and hook it up right in here and we'll do that after I get the disposal off. So it comes with a little bag, a bag of goodies here. Let's open this up. It comes with a new uh, downspout 90, right out of the, the one we took off, right out of the old one. Okay, and it comes with the tool. Here's the tool to take off and put it back on. Take off the old one and then put the new one on with this. Comes with that seal, the bushing, and the, the new flange. I mean, you could use the old one. Uh, I think the old one worked just as good as this one, but we'll put a new one on there since we have it. And then there is two new screws two new screws to put in there. So that's what we're working with. But this is what I need now to take the old one off. So I'm gonna go do that right now. Okay, here we go. We're gonna take this one off. Okay. And, uh, let's see, up here, this is actually a piece that is hooked on to the garbage disposal. This is the flange that I was showing you that I'm not going to replace. I'm just going to hook the new one to this old flange up here. But you can take this tool and put it right in there. Sometimes this will spin easy and sometimes it might spin the whole, the whole flange. So you just got to spin it, I believe, to your right. Let's see here. Okay. Here we go. Oh no, we gotta go left. Left. Lefty loosey righty tidy. Okay, here we go. Oh, there it goes. It's loosening. As soon as I get it loose, it'll drop down. It should drop right off. 
there it is. Okay, got it off. Okay, so I got the old garbage disposal out sitting here on, on the counter. I've got it unplugged. Um, it's got a it's got a special uh, fitting right here that I know I have enough cord, so I'm not gonna mess with that. I'm just gonna I'm just gonna cut the cord. I'm gonna cut the cord right off. I've got plenty of cord to splice and make it work on the new one. So you gotta make sure, if you're gonna do this, make sure it's unplugged. Because if you cut through there, once you hit both those wires at the same time, you're gonna have a rude awakening. So make sure it is unplugged if you do that. So I'm gonna leave that in there and re-splice that wire. And then you need to have a clamp, some kind of clamp. This isn't sold with the uh, garbage disposal, so you need to buy something like this. They have plastic ones. This is a metal one I have. Um, and that will fit in the new one right in here. It'll just screw right in. And then that'll, that'll secure the wire in place so it's not just hanging in there. Just turn that in there. Then once you get the wire spliced and everything, push that in there, tighten down these two screws, and that'll secure the wire in there so it doesn't get yanked out by somebody uh, going under the sink, grabbing something. So you wanna make sure you have one of these or something like this to secure it into the garbage disposal, the new one. Okay, I got my, my cord re-spliced. Does not come with wire nuts so you need to have some some uh, wire nuts or some way to to connect the wires together so when you fish them in there you're gonna go right to the left doesn't you just to get them in here well, this cord is kind of thick Tighten down this clamp. Okay, the wire in place. I'm making the Phillips. You can turn this and tighten that a little bit right, in there. I'm gonna trim a little bit off. The end of this wire made it a little bit too long. Get the wire in there. You guys need a wire, there's no, uh, when you're doing working with one twenty or one ten, whatever, you can hook either one to either one, it doesn't matter. One ten, got hot here, another, another wire nut. The wires together like that. And put the wire nut on there and screw it on. Keep screwing. So you can't see the wire anymore. You don't want any exposed wire in there if this thing moves around and one of these wires touch each other or touch the actual housing of the uh, garbage disposal. Uh, it'll probably short out or blow a breaker. It's on there. Looks good to me. Push the wires back in there. And there's this cover plate. Cover plate on. It's just got one screw holding it on. So tighten that up. Okay. I got the electrical hooked up. Okay, now I gotta put I'm gonna put this uh, gasket on there. And it goes right in there. Okay. And I'm going to I'm gonna use the old piece because that lined up good with uh, the plumbing that I had already. And also this port right here is for the dishwasher. Okay, there there is a plug in there. Okay, very important to, you gotta punch this plug out if, uh, if you have a dishwasher. If you don't have a dishwasher, you don't need to punch it out. You can just leave it, leave it in there. Okay, but I'm gonna do that now. Okay, so I gotta punch this 
punch this plug out. I got a hammer and just a flat, something flat to punch it out with. There we go. Came out. And make sure you take it out because it goes inside the actual the garbage disposal part. And there it is. So it's very important to take this piece out if you have a garbage or if you have a dishwasher. So I gotta put this piece on, this piece goes on here. I'm not gonna put all this on until I get it underneath the, uh, and mounted. So I'll get it ready. And we're almost there, we're almost there. Again, we're gonna go under there and mount it up. This is usually a little harder than taking it off. So putting it on is harder than taking it off. You gotta put it up here. You gotta make sure it's lined up. And you gotta put some pressure on it. And then use the same tool we took it off with. Get it, get it in the right spot. And just keep going until it stops. Okay, it stopped. It's on there. And then I can turn it. Turn it to the where the ports line up. And I can put the uh, the 90 on there. So we're gonna put this piece on. So I gotta push this down to where it's lined up. Just kind of move it a little bit. Get those holes lined up. Got that one in. Tighten up this fitting. I ain't gonna tighten it up all the way, but I'll just get it started. Okay, that started. That's tight. Tighten up this fitting. Okay, so I had to take it off and I don't know, I, I got this before I bolted this on. Before I'm gonna bolt this on, I, I'm getting this this piece started. It's giving me a problem here. So I think I got it. Got it started there pretty good. So this thing fell out. Gotta make sure that's in there. Put that gasket in there. Okay, next is the dishwasher hose. So just slide that back on. Okay, plug it back in to the same outlet. Okay, don't change it because this side is always hot. This is where my dishwasher is plugged in. This side's always hot. This side is runs off the switch. So always make sure you put it in the right one. You'll know because the garbage disposal will come on. So I'm gonna turn the water on and make sure there's no leaks. Check it out. Any leaks? Got 
got power. Make sure you always run water too through your garbage disposal while you're running it. Or you will burn the motor up. You gotta always have water going through it. Well, it looks good. No water dripping down here before. I think that was a job well done. Thank you guys for watching my video about changing a garbage disposal. Uh, I'm not a professional plumber or a professional electrician. Um, I'm just a handy homeowner. So take what you want from this video. Uh, I hope it helps a little bit. Uh, it took me probably, probably about 30 minutes to do it. So not too bad with uh, the filming and everything. And I had a good time. And hopefully you guys take something from this video. I thank you guys for watching, and I hope your day was better than my day. See ya.